The Iris Karg was a modified OL-class fleet replenishment oiler of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Navy. Named after Karg Island. Built by Swan Hunter in the United Kingdom and launched in 1977. It was delivered to Iran in 1984. Karg was Iran's largest naval vessel based on tonnage until the launch of Makran in early 2021. On the 2nd of June 2021, Karg caught fire and sank near the Iranian town of Jask in the Strait of Hormuz in the Gulf of Oman. According to the combat fleets of the world, the ship was greatly modified in comparison to her OL-class sister ships in service of the British Royal Fleet Auxiliary. Her design is described by Jane's fighting ships as incorporating some of the features of the class and fitted to carry dry stores and ammunition in addition to fuel. Karg displaced 11,242 tons. According to Jane's the vessel was 207.2 meters. The combat fleets of the world records the dimensions slightly differently, with 207.15 meters for length, beam and draft respectively. Her original installed machinery included a pair of two drum boilers built by Babcock and Wilcox that rotated two Westinghouse geared turbine sets. The system was designed to generate 7,000 kilowatts of electricity and to provide 20.04 megawatts for her single shaft coupled with the propeller. The ship was capable of reaching a nominal top speed of 21.5 knots. Her original navigation radar was manufactured by DECA Radar, a DECA 1229 model working on I-band, while the installed tactical air navigation system was a U.S.-made Earn 20. It was also fitted with Inmarsat. It was armed with an OTO Malara 76mm, 80 anti-aircraft autocannons arranged in two twin mounts, as well as two 12.7mm heavy machine guns. Her crew consisted of 248 officers and men. Karg had a helipad with twin hangars, giving her sufficient capacity to embark three helicopters. The International Institute of Strategic Studies Long Macron which was commissioned in 2021. An assessment published by Stratfor in 2014 mentions that Karg was an essential long-distance blue water asset for the Iran because of her ability to extend the range of Iranian warships, adding that, without this vessel, the small number of Iranian frigates would be unable to embark on extended deployments without consistent and frequent port visits along the way. Eric H. Arnett, a project leader at Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, commented that CARG could provide extra operational flexibility for the Iranian fleet and her capacity to carry large and heavy helicopters like Sikorsky Shish 3 Sea King could improve the anti submarine warfare abilities of the naval group it belonged to. Christopher Harmer of the Institute for the Study of War found her ability to lift heavy cargo of particular interest. He argued that in view of the sanctions against Iran, Karg was potentially ideal for safe transfer of valuable or politically sensitive assets, such as imported military equipment, gold or currency. In such a scenario, Karg would have been the vessel supported by the warship it accompanied, rather than vice versa. According to Harmer, the fact that it was a naval vessel would deter foreign navies from an attempt to prevent her operations. After Karg's 2011 visit to Syria via the Suez Canal, U.S. Navy officer Joshua C. Himes opined that the Karg will raise suspicion simply due to its logistics capacity and potential to transport weapons, materiel to Iranian surrogates in the region. Iran ordered the ship from the English shipyard Swan Hunter in October 1974 in a contract worth £40. Pounds. Million. Karg was laid down on 27 January 1976. Launched on 3 February 1977 by Golam Reza Pahlavi and named by Manajay Pahlavi, a member of the royal family. R. J. Daniel, a Royal Corps of Naval Constructors officer, wrote in his memoirs that the ceremonial ship launching was attended by the wife of the Shah's brother, and a cleric wearing a black turban blessed the battle honours but got the name of the ship wrong in his first attempt. It ran some trials in November 1978, but delays in fitting out postponed her commissioning by the Imperial Iranian Navy and shortly afterwards the Iranian Revolution took place. In August 1979, it was reported that the interim government of Iran intended to cancel the contract.
and as a result Swan Hunter was looking for a new purchaser. It was painted in Battleship Grey and between September 1979 and February 1980. The CARG undertook sea trials in secrecy, though it was delivered to the Iranian government on 25 April 1980. The British government refused to issue an export license for the ship. This resulted in CARG's some 200 crew members being unable to the leave the United Kingdom. Swan Hunter declared that it was uninvolved in any political implications and considered building CARG a straightforward commercial contract. The Guardian noted similarities between the complications over the delivery of the CARG and the seizure of the battleship Resat v. which was O. Oh.